Bonjour, bonjour, welcome to this new video. Today we're going to talk again about the difference between uh, French from Canada and from France. So the first word I'd like to teach you is the adjective pacté that they use only in Canada and for them it means wasted or drunk. Pacté, where we would use bourré for uh, ivre, which is the nice proper term for drunk. But bourré is slang and in Canada it would be pacté. Very cute, I think in Canada they, they say donne-moi un bec, give me a kiss, donne-moi un bec. In French, something fairly close that we do use is donne-moi un beco, un beco. So it's very close, but not the same. It sounds a little strange when someone says donne-moi un bec, then give me a beak. But beco is so close, why make such a difference? But yeah, it's beco for us in France, it's bec for them in Canada. Another very Canadian expression that is pretty famous over there, they have it on mugs if you go in touristic places in uh, Montreal, is ça n'a pas d'allure. So if you put it, the accent is ça n'a pas d'allure. Ça n'a pas d'allure. Uh, for us, it doesn't make any sense when we hear that from France, but over there it means it doesn't make sense. Ça n'a pas d'allure. Okay, it doesn't make sense. For us, the French, no. L'allure is the style. Okay, it doesn't have any style, la pas d'allure. But it's strange, we wouldn't use it that way. Okay, so it really pertains to uh, Canada. So again, you know, the Canadians say that they don't like Anglicisms, but they do use plenty that we don't even use, or they use it in a different way. Uh, for instance, when they say something is fun, they say c'est le fun, c'est le fun. The French might say in slang, they would say c'est super fun, c'est super fun, c'est fun. But they don't put an article in front of it. Canadians do put an article and say c'est le fun. And they, just like us, they will skip the E and pronounce an L apostrophe and say c'est le fun, meaning it's fun. D'accord? One day I was in the pool with my Canadian friends and uh, uh, the woman uh, saw a baby and said, uh, Il est bien cute, ce bébé. Il est bien cute. So, ben, saying ben, not even with a bien. That's very Canadian, they say it a lot, ben, and then using the adjective cute, and there is, those are people who will say they don't speak English, and they say cute with a good American accent, it's pretty amazing, but they say they don't speak English, and I think they really don't. It's not, you know, I'm French, they wouldn't mind saying that they do speak English, but they really don't. They so happen to, I don't know, I don't know, they just hear so much English that they can pronounce words really well. So this is a ben cute, it's baby, it's baby. There you go. Something that I thought was pretty funny is, uh, if you don't want to swear in French, one way that people will use would be flute or zut. You say, oh, zut, oh, shoot. Uh, or flute, which is even old, more old-fashioned to say, oh, shoot. Okay. And in Canada, they combine the two and they say, ah, zut de flute. I thought it was really cool. Uh, zut de flute. I thought it was amazing to not swear in the uniform. Oh, shoot. You say, zut de flute. I thought it was amazing. Another interesting word that they use is une place, which is, I'm sorry, it's a direct translation from English. Uh, une place, which is un endroit for us, for a place. You know, there's a place in Minnesota where they do this and that. It's un endroit in French. Une place is a big plaza, okay, where people can walk and you have restaurants and all. That's une place. But in Canada, that's the word they use for, for a place, une place, right? Something that's very... Uh, uh, insane, I thought. Uh, first time I heard it, I was, I was, I had to talk about this to my friend for a little time, for a little while. Uh, but he said, uh, "How about we listen to a movie?" So well, we can watch it too, you know. But in Canada, they talk about listening to movies. They say, uh, on, "On écoute un film." They say, "On peut regarder un film." We can watch the movie and listen to it too if you want. I mean, we can do both, but we'll say we we'll watch the movie. But in Canada, they talk about listening to a movie. Interesting. So yeah, écouter un film. Very Canadian. Something insane. You know, sometimes we say, oh, that movie was so, it was bad, man. It was bad. You mean it was awesome, of course. Uh, they do a little bit the same with the word écœurant, which is like disheartening uh, or disgusting. Écœurant. And for, for them, it means it was amazing. It was awesome. Well, to us, écœurant means it, make, it makes you sick. It makes you want to throw up. Okay, so it means exactly the opposite. So, écœurant in Canada means awesome. For us, it means disgusting. D'accord? And finally, uh, one of my favorite ones, because I had a conversation, a, a big quid pro quo about that one. Uh, my friend asked, oh, you went to see a, a Green Day live? I said, yeah. So, how was it? I said, c'était terrible. And in France, terrible, we use it a lot of times for awesome. It can also mean terrible depending on the context. In Canada, I learned that it's only terrible, not awesome ever. So I said it was terrible, and my friend would look disappointed. I, it was awkward. I was like, okay, uh, I thought you liked Green Day too. And I said, so he said, so you didn't like it? No, I said, no, it was terrible. 
So, so you didn't like it? No, no, terrible. I mean, in French, it means it's awesome. It was awesome. I said, oh, so he told me, yeah, well, in French from Canada, terrible is only terrible. So there you go. That's another one. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed all of this. You took notes. Uh, please make your comments below if you're from Canada. Again, I'd love to have your insight um, and comments. Uh, feel free to ask me questions. Uh, share this video with your friends if you have any who are interested in French. And if you like this video, please do like it. And I will see you soon for another video. Salut, à bientôt.